We could all sing happy birthday to the earth, but it would just be so corny. We're not going to do it. So happy birthday, Earth Day. Thank you so much, all of you who um, sponsored me coming here, had the idea for me to come here, talked to other people to convince them for me to come here, because this is exactly the right place to be on Earth Day. You guys have done some great work, and I'm very proud and honored to be invited here and to speak with you. Did you all see our big rubber ducky outside? Wait, yeah. okay, actually it's not rubber, but our nylon ducky. So, nylon duckies, rubber duckies used to be rubber, and now they're poison plastic. So I want to talk about what happened over the last 40 years. I want to start at Love Canal, um, but before I do that, I, I wanted to talk about campuses. I am the executive director, as I was introduced, of the Center for Health, Environment, and Justice. This is a national environmental group so located right outside of Washington, D.C. And the only reason I'm there and doing what I'm doing is because of the women's movement. You see, in 1968, my sister, who tried to get into Syracuse University to be a biologist, was told that women can't be biologists. So it hasn't been that long. In Washington, D.C., I am the only woman who's leading a national environmental group. And I want to thank the sisters and brothers that came before me who organized on campuses across this country, who stood up and said, women have more than uteruses. <laughs> we have brains. And that we should be able to hold jobs and be paid the same wages and so forth and so on. Campuses and young people are what have changed our world. It's not old, I'm old now. It's not old people like me. If you look at the civil rights movement, if you look at the peace movement, all of that happened, the change happened because of young people. Young people sat on the, at the lunch counter during the civil rights movement. And people put cigarettes out on their arms and their backs for scalding coffee. We're talking young people your age. And they stood their ground. And they said, no, no more. Because we're black, we have rights, no more. We are not leaving. Our environment, our world, needs young people stand up as they have in the past. We are at a critical juncture. This is not news. We have climate change. We have global warming. We have poison food. We have poison products. We have poison all around us. And people like me can go out and talk to folks and, and make some decisions, but it's really going to take the young people of today to tip the balance to change what is going on. So I want to talk about, that's a heavy load, huh? Okay, you want to go back to singing happy birthday? <laughs> Got it. I know, it's a heavy load. It's really, it's a really heavy load. But the fact of the matter is, it is your turn. It is your turn, and you need to do it. And so.